Well, with so many people suffering from addiction in our community, it's important to remember that everyone has a story. Here's Mike McArdle tonight with an inspiring last word on why it's never too late for a second chance. Jill and Christina in front of the detox center on a bright and sunny day before Christina does what Christina does. Okay, here we go. I can see clearly now the rain has gone. She has been clean and sober for nine years. Before that... How bad was it when it was bad? It was horrible. They called me Mina Christina, and I was not a very nice person. I was blocked out for 22 years. Wow. Now she is the sunshine on East Cordova. I can see all obstacles in my way. But again, before this... I wanted to uh, kill myself. I got hooked into detox at Vancouver Detox. Salvation Army Homestead kept me for a year and gave me the tools to survive. Wow. Taught me how, what people do. How do people live? I had nothing. In a different time frame, Jill has been clean for a week. Bright, sunshiny day. <laughs> I got no backing music. I'm a little wonderful. bit out of tune, and I'm a little Whoa. nervous. How does she sound? It's a bright, uh, and sunshiny day. Yay! She sounded wonderful. <laughs> it's going to be, be a bright, bright, bright sunshiny day. day. Is it going to be? Absolutely. Always is. Just a little moment on a bright and sunshiny day. Mike McArdle, CTV News. She didn't look nervous to me at all. She's no. a good singer. Got a beautiful voice. Yeah, and a beautiful day to be singing that song on the downtown east side. That's right. Yeah.